ask the best questions as well. I'm not even gassing you. Like, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm not doing my job right. <laughs> Welcome back to Two Day Pass. You're joined with Lily Rose. Lily Rose is going to attempt a uh, test route again at Watford. Yeah. Um, we've got everything set up, so we're not going to waste any time unless you have any questions. No, no, no questions. So take your time when you're ready. Let's go explore Watford. Excellent. Good blind spot that. checks. Well done. So, no real need to check the left side. I don't think there's any real danger there. No. Nope. So, we can just check the right and side. I had to put the car in drive. That would have been Good. brilliant. Good. So <laughs> first, get your observations second. Then you know it's safe and then we move yeah. off. Good looking again. Well done. The most dangerous side is the right side, so we need to check that side minimum before moving on. Say if I'm on a test and I check my blind spot for my right side, but there's nothing on my left, do I still need to check my left side? Not necessarily, unless you feel like there is some danger that may be on that side. Okay, so you won't be marked down for that? Correct, yeah. Okay. It just depends. So it is safer to maybe just check both sides just in case. Have a look at this. Can you see the Give sign way, there? Excellent. And it goes. Too. Volks, uh, uh, Volkswagen Golf. Yeah. I think Golfs are really nice. Golfs are cool, yeah. You can get one second hand, 20,000 miles, Golf GTI automatic, 14,000 pounds. That's crazy. Really good. Uh, it's a uh, 68 plate, so at the moment that'd be about four years old, but it still looks pretty tough. Yeah. It's not a bad price as well. Yeah, I'm going to try to go car shopping on the weekend and see what I like. But it's hard because I can't test drive anything, really, can I? Not until you've got your full licence, yeah. really, yeah. So annoying, because I know that I want to just, hopefully by next weekend, be like, my car. Yeah. <laughs> Not according to the comments, though. <laughs> Ignore the naysayers. <gasps> What can you see coming up ahead? A bridge and a width restriction. All right. Number one rule of driving. Less space, less speed. That's actually a really good saying. Less yeah, space, less speed. Yeah, it's brilliant. This road. I'm gonna not know because I'm gonna say 30. Okay, so there's no signs. No. Are there regular street lights? No. No. So the theory test tells us if there's regular street lights and no signs, that's a 30 road. But we don't have any regular street lights, so I guess we could assume it's 30. I'd say it's definitely not 20. Okay. 20s would be regularly signposted. Okay. So we're gonna go with 30 for now. Yeah. Satnav has just displayed the 30 mile an hour limit. It's just come up now. Um, we can't rely on the Satnav, but it can be a slight bit of help, I guess, huh? Yeah, I just I feel scared going down like these country roads that fast. <laughs> so we're doing 26 miles an hour. You seem to be keeping quite good control. We're slowing down to about 20 miles an hour here for the bend, which is reasonable. You wouldn't really want to go around a sharp bend at 30. That's where yeah. cars After can start to... Yards, I feel like I'd sway. Right, then take the third See, my right. biggest scare is that if I'm driving by winter, like icy, rainy roads... Oh, God. So obviously, I, might, I think I might do an intensive driving course after just to learn that. Pass right. plus. Yeah. You can do that, take that's fine. Take the third right. Excellent awareness, well done. After 100 yards, turn right, then cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Boomer's got back problems, just ignore me. Oh. <laughs> One of those expensive cars that massage you while you're driving. 
I've seen those. My friend's got this new car and it's got an app and you can start and warm it up before you get out in it. And take the first exit. And I was like, that's a bit It doesn't work so well when you live in an apartment block, though. Oh, does it not? Take the first exit. I was like, imagine just like walking down the street and you're seeing a car just turning itself on. I'd be like, that's so confusing. You know, Tessie, push a button, it drives towards you. That's hilarious. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Excellent. Really nice mini roundabouts here. Well done. You're holding a conversation, doing your observations, slowing down on the approach, which is probably the most important bit about roundabouts. Yeah, I remember when you said to me the other day because I went straight across that one the other day. the roundabout and take the first exit. Yeah. Sometimes people don't see that it's a mini roundabout. They're quite small and then they all just drive straight through it. It's quite common. See in the test like now how I keep itching the back of my neck when I get in yep. trouble for taking my hand off the wheel? No. You got scurvy? No, I just got really lots of extensions that are itching the back oh, right. of my head. No, it's fine. As long as you're not losing control, um, you can use one pedal mm. driving, you can use cruise control, you can steer one handed. But if we do lose control, whether it's the vehicle or us, we can get marked down for it. Okay. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Butcher Mill Lane. Well done. How are you feeling? I feel a little bit confident. Oh no, I've been done one yet. Seemed to have relaxed a little. Yeah. yeah. Bit of a mad Cross rush today, wasn't it? It was, you know what? Exit. I left my house at like quarter to nine and I got there and there's been severe delays on the Hammersmith and City line. And then the Metropolitan I got held at Wembley Park for 15 minutes and I was like having a meltdown. Even more reason to get a driving license then. Yeah, exactly. I was just like, this train life is not what I've like, signed up for. And I am 28, so I should have really been driving by now. Well, we were going to play Guess Your guess your Age later. <laughs> guess Your Age. Really now. How much surgery she had that you can't tell? <laughs> you know what? I think, you know, if it's done right, it's a good thing. I, I think it should be used to enhance but not change. Okay. That's Never my mind. theory. Because you know when some girls After do so big, it looks ridiculous. Oh, God, yeah, completely changed. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's some girls that show me photos before, and I'm like, that is not the same person. Yeah, you look completely different yeah. now. I look the same, but I just obviously got more cheekbones and bigger. <laughs> you have a left turn just coming up here. It's quite a sharp turn one. Turn left. Excellent mirror check, well done. Good cover in the brake. Good keeping the brake covered as you're coming in towards the turn. Continuing to keep the brake covered, because it's very narrow, we might yeah. not be able to keep going. So, excellent. And then, once you can see you can keep going, you start to accelerate a pedal. And that's how they teach race car drivers. Really? Maybe I'll do the next Lewis Hamlin. There you go. <laughs> I'm just really scared of speed. <laughs> the slow... Are we going be... the slowest F1 driver in the history? Yeah, like that's, that's difficult. F1 driving. This is I could never. Level. Imagine like so. how your brain must be wired to even function in yeah. that speed. Super, super quick. Yeah. Okay, having a look at the road markings here. What can you see? I see that it's 20. Nice, good. Excellent in the giveaway lines as well. This is what we call a closed junction. It's very, very difficult to see. Mm -hmm. And the strategy that we use for closed junctions is called peep and creep. Yeah. Peep and creep. Yeah, peep and creep. Um, so what well, that means we just gently edge out, keep looking, see if it's safe, and if it's safe, we keep creeping out. Talking Good with your brakes. So we slow down and stop here, possibly. Stop, 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 stop. If they were going to keep going, to not make your life difficult and have to wiggle into this tight gap on the left, mm -hmm. we could stop early here, and with this big space that we have on our right, we could let them come in and go around us. So okay. I call that an overflow. So we don't always have to move in for them. We could possibly just stop in the centre of the road and let them flow over and around us. Do you get people that just would refuse to go into that space? No. Oh, really? Never. Never had that. Ever. My entire driving history. Not once. Like, what it sounds like now, I'm not moving. I'm like, ah. It's like, look, mate, there's a room there. What's wrong with you? They're going to go, all right, sorry about that. And they're going to move in, right? Yeah, it's normal. Good, and we always move over to the left. So you can stop in the middle of the road or move over to the left, but we never, ever drive into oncoming traffic and move over to the right side to pull over for an oncoming vehicle. Okay, Fantastic. so always got to be on the left. Even always. if there was only space on the right, it's up to them to pull over Correct. to the right. Correct, yes. Okay. Excellent. You know what's really nice about these videos? 
What? You articulate things so well and you really? ask the best questions as well. <laughs> I'm not even gassing you. Like, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm not doing my job right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, now refocus. Use the reflections off of the car doors or windows. Yeah. Can be useful to try and gauge if there's an oncoming vehicle. Very narrow roads, two way, it's so hard. Mm -hmm. It is very hard. Good with your speed, left, driving very left, appropriate. Nice observations again. Good red traffic light there, but nice to check just in case. Nearly went to the pavement. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, so far, these roads and this route's been pretty okay, right? Yeah, this is yeah. a very easy route. After 200 yeah. yards. I think it was the other one with the dual carriageway that was tripping. We had that one, didn't we? Yeah, we might revisit that one later, okay? Brilliant, my favourite. <laughs> Good covering the brake for your less space, less speed. Let's see what the BMW does. No Turn doubt. Left. Mm -hmm. uh, very good mirrors, very good signal. Slightly drifting out a bit before your turn, so just be cautious of that. Overall, not too bad. Well done, nice speed. Yeah, I think it's going to be quite important the way that we use our speed in this area because it seems to have quite a lot of narrow roads and parking. It changes cars. quite a lot, doesn't it, very quickly? Yeah, like we've 20s had 20s. And 30s. Yeah, very well. See what I'm saying? <coughs> Spotting that, well done. It shows your focus and you're looking out for these things. I do worry about sometimes, like, what if I'm severely hungover and I think I can drive and my, like, attention span. You down. can do what the French do. I've got a lot of respect for the French, don't what get me do started. They do? They've got, um, right. I don't know if they all have it, but you're supposed to have it. A uh, portable um, alcohol tester you blow into, so you're yeah, a personal one. I've heard stories of someone before that even if you're not drunk the next day, it still lingers in your system, so you can still true. be over the limit. Yep. When I was a courier, as a motorbike rider, Brazilian guy, you know, had a few drinks before, went to work the next day, and um, he reported his wallet stolen as he went into the police station. They could smell the alcohol all over him. They saw him get on his bike and drive away and arrested him. Dirty people. <laughs> I was not going to say what I was going to say. That's, that's that horrible. That was in the paper, <clears throat> yeah, for the, for the couriers. It just shows you, though, doesn't it? You just don't know. Um, in America, After you can get a DUI yards. for riding a cycle. In this country, you can't. But you can drink and cycle in this, in this country. country. Oh, yeah, because you're going to stop and take people getting Boris bikes, are they? No. Turn left, then turn right. But that is dangerous, right. though, right? Imagine the tourists. Because being... it's still the highway code. And they're in the centre of London. Yeah, I wouldn't even trust myself sober to get on one of those bikes. Yeah, same. Same. I they're, just, they're they're I just feel like I'd be like, oh, my God, what a brilliant day thinking I'm in some sort of rom-com and next turn year I'm going to run over. Thank you, yes, you've got to be very aware. Cross the roundabout. Yes, yeah, so it's just here on the, the crossroad. Ah, please don't come on to me. Okay, that's fine. Yes, Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I actually thought? Did you? That's what you were Good time. Cross right, the roundabout. Take your time, focus. Take the second exit. Nice mirror check. It's good cutting the roundabout. Well done. If we didn't, we'd be halfway up the pavement, so it's yeah. really necessary. Excellent across Cross the less space, less speed. Take the second exit. Good distance Bullshit from the van with the man. Nice again. Really smooth. Look how many roundabouts there are on this road. Yeah. Oh my god. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Would Very nice left. mirror check. A little bit of a hole, not, no big deal though. If with potholes, if we don't see them in time, you'll have to go through them. It's just not safe to suddenly swerve around the pothole yeah. if you know, it's the last second. Do they care and test about potholes? It's not really your fault. It, no, it's not your fault. There's only so much you can do. So in that, in that aspect, if you do accidentally see a hole quite last second, you know, try and see mm -hmm. it early. Um, so slow down a bit if you can and hold the steering wheel firmly and just go through the hole. Yeah. It's horrible. Some of this road's very uneven. <clears throat> yeah, some roads are. Usually industrial estates are pretty bad. What causes roads to come uneven? Um, weight, usually, or whatever is underneath the road. If it's weak underneath, it might collapse. So you get some roads that get continuous potholes just all the, all the time. I always find those ones crazy. You know, like those you get sinkholes, they're the ones that blow yeah. I mean, I'd like to witness one, but I'd be terrified. I haven't heard of any in this country, but in America, it's a big thing, I think. Yeah, I remember there's um, some woman I watched on YouTube, and she like, went to her cabin in the woods, and she came back, and it was just like half oh eaten God. by the ground. Western oh, Avenue, what do you do? Away. It's very scary. 
Well done for slowing down early. You're asking that question, what do I do? You're looking ahead and making a decision as early as possible. Well done. Do they have cameras here, these ones? Uh, they would do for the middle lane, yeah, normally. It's a lot of revenue for the council. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm scared of this. Bloody car's going to do that stupid stop thing again. Oh, it's good that you're aware of it. Well done with your speed. And that's pretty much identical to the one outside where you live, isn't it? Yeah. That one outside I live, do you know how many accidents I see happen all oh, the time? Oh, wow. Okay. Someone Turn crashed right, their brand new Tesla into it and then all the doors... Avenue, You've gone past the stop line, keep going, keep going, keep going, but go faster, go faster, go faster, go faster. Go to the left lane, all the way to the left lane, check your left mirror. All done. Because you had passed that stop line... Yeah. If you had stopped where you stopped, it would have been an immediate fail. Okay. So you pass the stop line. That's why I encourage you. We've made our decision now. We've got past the stop line. Be we confident. need to commit. Yeah, be confident and continue to go. Okay. Just try and get a little bit of speed if possible. Clear the junction as quickly and as safely as you can. That was scary because I got the other car stopped. So I was like, ah. Yeah, that's why we need to go quicker. I was like, what am I doing? Who do I think what I am? Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> well done. So you just past the speed change. So we've now gone onto a national speed limit road. Do you know what the maximum speed is? 70. Here? That's correct. So well done. You're doing 47. That's not too bad. Do you feel that you're comfortable with going fast? I, I feel like I'm trying, but I'm really scared. Do what you feel safe to do, okay? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that's great. Okay, slow down. You're approaching a junction, and you'll get signs saying to reduce speed now. Mirror, mirror, right. Get your right signal on early to put your right signal up. Move across, move across with speed. Uh, Look at the car. Move across. Okay. Now, it's moving at speed yeah, that scares me. We've got countdown markers. Three, two, one. They're every hundred yards. <clears throat> Good braking. Slow doesn't mean slow necessarily. Okay. It means hazard. Roundabout. Hazard Empty is a roundabout. Uh, Take your time. Relax. Gentle, Heart gentle. Slower, slower, slower. Turn right. Where are we going? We're going that way. Good. How can we tell people? We're going to do this. I've got a good way to that one. Very nice and smooth. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Mirrors. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I feel like my driving instructor is like, what the hell is this guy? Oh my god. Turn right. Box junction. Straighten up. When I'm practicing on the thing, I'm too scared to focus on the sat there. I'll let you go. Oh, sorry, I'm a bag of nerves. It's alright, it's alright. Take time. There's no rush, yeah? You don't have to go. Yeah, it's not. If you don't go, it's not a minor, it's not a major, it's fine. Because. But when I stopped him because he tried to give me way? No. He stopped himself. Okay. Good. If they decide to slow down and stop for you, that's their decision. I think we're in here, aren't we? Yeah. So you see these markings in the middle? Yeah. You can actually wait on top of those. Oh, can markings. you? You can, yes. Uh, so we can always drive on top of those markings. They're lines inside lines. We call them hatch markings. Okay. You are allowed to drive on top of hatch markings if you need to. And we do because we're turning right. Okay. okay. All right. What I'm going to do is just get to stop on the yellow line, actually. Um, so you see... Just here on the left, there's a yellow line. If you just, just stop us somewhere here. Thank you. All right, brilliant. And um, yeah, just screw the car. Uh, relax. Okay, uh, wasn't too bad. That was awful. Well done. I didn't really mark anything. Um, the last bit there on the dual carriageway, I think, might have been the bit that we'd want to have. A I look need at to practice again. changing lanes at high speeds. That's yeah. my biggest fear right now. Cool. All right, we're going to go have a look at that. Well done. I hope you've learned something from this video. I. I think it went very well, personally. A lot of me screaming, going, ah! <laughs> all round, very good, all right. Um, so we're going to go practice a bit where you were screaming next. Okay. So stay tuned. Okay, um, stay safe, stay cool, and we'll see you on the next video. <laughs>